Guys, it's Fonzie with DipYourCar.com, world famous peelable auto paints. Now, dipping your wheels and dipping your car is a very do-it-yourself friendly process. But just like any DIY process, people are going to make mistakes. So what do you do if you find yourself with your car or your wheels and there's just not enough dip on there to peel it? Let me walk you through what to do next. So we're working on this wheel here. We sprayed it over six months ago and we purposely used half the amount of recommended Plasti Dip per wheel. And as you can see, it's very thin and it would take quite a while to peel all the Plasti Dip off this wheel by hand. So we're gonna use the dip dissolver to make this an easier task. Now, the first thing we did is we masked off the brake mechanisms with a garbage bag just to keep them clean through the process. Ideally, you're gonna take the wheel off the car, but if you wanna do it on the car, we recommend masking the brakes. Now, the first thing you wanna do is make sure the wheel is completely dry before you spray it with the dip dissolver. A lot of people make the mistake of spraying the dip dissolver on the wheel while it's wet with water, and that actually just dilutes the dip dissolver. The reason why dip dissolver works so fast is because it's almost 90% active ingredients. A lot of the other products out there that people think will work that are similar are in the 12 to 15% active ingredients. That's why dip dissolver works faster than anything else you can try. So again, make sure the wheel is dry, and what we're gonna do is cover the Plasti Dip surface in a wet coat of dip dissolver. Make sure you don't miss anything. You always wanna do this outside in a well-ventilated area. Now we're gonna use a pressure washer to remove the Plasti Dip and the dip dissolver, but the timing here is really important. You don't wanna go in and blast the Plasti Dip with the pressure washer right after you apply the dip dissolver. You wanna give it a little bit of time to work its magic. You also don't wanna let the dip dissolver dry on the surface of the Plasti Dip. What I like to do is wait about 30 to 45 seconds and use the back of my fingernail to check the Plasti Dip. If I can easily cut through the Plasti Dip and see the surface underneath with the back of my fingernail, then it's ready to go. If it's not ready to go like it is here, then we're gonna apply a little bit more dip dissolver. Now we've given it another 45 seconds or so and you can tell that the Plasti Dip pigment is starting to run a little bit and liquefy. So I'm gonna check it again with the back of my fingernail and I can easily cut through all the Plasti Dip down to the surface of the wheel. So what I'm gonna do is hit it with my first run with the pressure washer. I'm just gonna work from the top to the bottom and try and get in between each one of the surface areas. Now you don't have to worry about getting all of the dip off in one shot. It's not that big of a deal to come back, let the wheel dry, and then reapply dip dissolver one more time to finish the job. Now the most important thing here is again, don't apply more dip dissolver while the wheel is wet. It's just gonna dilute the product and you're gonna be wasting the power of the dip dissolver. So what we're gonna do is let this dry completely, then come back and try it again. So we've waited another 60 seconds and we're gonna go in with our second round here with the pressure washer. Now this should be enough to clear almost all the Plasti Dip off the wheel. In extreme situations, you might have to do a third application. Now, after you finish removing all the Plasti Dip from the wheel, it's a really good idea to thoroughly rinse off the wheel, the tire, and the body of the car around where you were applying the dip dissolver. Now, we're back to normal, no more Plasti Dip, and we didn't have to try to fight through peeling that really thin coating. So if you find yourself in a situation where there was just not enough Plasti Dip applied to the surface and it won't peel for you, just click right up here. It'll bring you to the Dip Dissolver product. It comes in 32 ounce spray bottles 
as well as the gallons for bigger jobs. Now there are people out there who will say you can use a whole bunch of crazy stuff to dissolve and remove Plasti Dip. Nothing works faster and nothing works safer than Dip Dissolver. Trust me, we went through all of the testing during the development phase and this product's been out for years. Anyone who's used it can vouch for that for sure. Now we actually did a video where we sprayed the correct amount of product on one wheel and the wrong amount of product, which you saw that wheel today on another wheel, waited six months and we did a side-by-side -side peeling comparison. There's a link in the description box below. Check that video out. It's Fonzie. If you have any questions at all, email customer service at dipyourcar.com, chat with us directly on the website or call in. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you on the next one.